Previously on my channel, I had a video showing you how I connected my Intel equipped MacBook Pro to my 2013, late 2013, 27-inch iMac, which I was using as a secondary display or a secondary monitor for my MacBook Pro. The process that I used previously uh, also worked with my company-issued MacBook Pro, 16-inch MacBook Pro with the uh, i7 and 16-inch MacBook Pro with the i9. Um, obviously, all Intel, all uh, MacBook Pros equipped with the Intel chip. I do not own any Mac product, any Apple product with the uh, M1 chip in it. I don't plan on getting one, not for a long time. Um, so all of my Mac, uh, all of my Macs are Intel based. Okay, and again, the iMac that I'm using is a 2013 27 inch iMac. Uh, running Catalina. So I just, want, I just want to make that clear. I also do not own uh, a Windows machine uh, anymore. I, I did at one point in time, a long time ago, I converted to Ubuntu Linux and then I donated it. So I no longer own um, a Microsoft machine or a, a Windows machine. I do use Windows, a virtual machine though, on my Macs and on my Linux boxes, but not uh, an actual Windows machine. So um, if I wasn't clear enough already, I do not, I do not own an M1 equipped Mac. Okay. I need that get question a lot. I do not own one. I don't plan on buying one anytime soon. Okay. All right. And so all of my MacBooks Pro, my personally owned one and my work issued one are all running at this point in time in June. June 30th, 2021, um, Big Sur 11.4, as you can see here, okay? Now let's talk hardware. The hardware that I used and purchased last October of 2020 was um, an, op, an Apple label product. Uh, essentially, they are double mail, double mail Thunderbolt 2 cable. Okay, 0.5 meters are very short. In hindsight, I wish I would have gotten a longer one. A longer one would have gave me more flexibility in what, how I arranged my displays. Um, but I went for the cheapest one. I, it, also in hindsight, I wish I would have bought a used one. So essentially they are double mail Thunderbolt 2. Okay, double mail Thunderbolt 2. The other piece of gear that I bought was uh, the Apple Thunderbolt 3, also known as USB-C. Mail on the, uh, on the USB-C side, it's a male adapter, right? It's a male fitting with a female Thunderbolt 2 adapter, just like the name says here, okay? Now, these are pretty expensive, so I bought it used. Again, this is October... 2020 price. Now, I don't know if it's more expensive now or cheaper now. I don't know. I haven't checked. But uh, so once again, double mail Thunderbolt 2. And then I have an adapter with a Thunderbolt 3 male and a Thunderbolt 2 female adapter. So the setup is very simple. The, the double mail cable, Thunderbolt 2, one male side is going to go into the female side here okay hey this is a family show let's keep it clean here get your mind out of the gutter and then of course the other uh, male side Thunderbolt 2 is going to go into the Thunderbolt 2 port in the back of the iMac and I will show you that here momentarily so let's take a look at the hardware in, uh, in real life here so I have a USB-C or Thunderbolt 3 male fitting on one side and then a 
female Thunderbolt 2 um, adapter on the other side. This goes into the MacBook Pro, and then I have the double um, double male Thunderbolt 2. Of course, this will go into the female adapter here, and then this will go into the iMac. Uh, let's take a look at my iMac. Again, this is a late 2013, 27 inch iMac. Um, I have Thunderbolt 2 adapters, well, ports back there. These are Thunderbolt 2, not DisplayPort. Okay, Thunderbolt 2. Um, and of course I have an external SSD to supplement my internal SSD. I made a video about that as to why that is previously. Okay, so now I got everything connected. I have the Thunderbolt 3 or USB-C into the into the MacBook. Okay, got the double metal connected to the female adapter. And then in the back of the machine, there it is. There's the um, Thunderbolt 2 into the iMac. Okay, come around. Now on the iMac, I don't log in. Okay, I just leave it at the login screen there. Okay, now I'm gonna do Command F2 on my keyboard. By the way, these are the keyboard that came with the iMac originally. Command F2. The screens go dark for a bit. Yep, oh, and there it is. Um, okay. I'm actually left-handed, so I'm trying to move this. I'm going to move my terminal over to my MacBook Pro and then move terminal back there. And of course, uh, when you connect your iMac to your MacBook Pro, at least on my 13 one, 20, late 2013 one, I have access to all the drives on the iMac. Okay, all the drives. And then to go back to do command F2 again. There it goes. Alright, so back to standalone iMac. So here's what I meant earlier when I said that when you connect your iMac to your MacBook Pro, you have access to all the drives. So right now I am connected to my iMac to be used as a secondary display. I have access to all the drives on the iMac and I can use it as a, so like a file server. Now this process does work with my um, Intel i9 work 16 inch MacBook as well. It's the exact same procedure. Um, I am bound by legal agreement to not disclose anything on this machine. So uh, I don't, I'm not gonna make a video and post it to the world that will land me in federal prison. And that would really cramp my style right now. So I'm not gonna do that, but the procedure is exactly the same for a 16 inch uh, i9 equipped MacBook Pro. Um, so some closing thoughts on this. Sometimes when I connect my MacBook to my iMac as a display, and then I switch to standalone iMac mode and I don't, I don't log in, sometimes the screensaver doesn't work on the iMac. So I have to manually set the screensaver. So that's the downside. Um, and by the way, the iMac, the 2013 iMac, late 2013, Catalina is the last operating system that Apple would issue for this. See the, <laughs> the screensaver working that time. So this is going to be the last operating system for my 2013 iMac. Um, I do not own any other uh, model of iMac, just this one, late 2013, 27 inch. Okay. Well, thank you for watching. If you are a subscriber, please 
uh, well, thank you for subscribing. If you are not a subscriber, please consider subscribing. Thank you so much. See you next time.